Da Nang, Vietnam is the best beach city I have ever been to in the world. Today I'm going to talk about the reasons why I love this city and why I think you will too. So one of the best things about this city is the infrastructure and how beautiful it is. It's beautiful during the day and you can go visit the beach, watch the sunset. There's a lot of things to do. However, it can get a little hot. But to me, the city really shines at night. It has one of the most beautiful skylines I have ever seen. You have the Dragon Bridge, which is extremely popular here and that's like the middle bridge separating the beach side and the city side but i would argue that a lot of the bridges here in da Nang are beautiful when you're walking along them you get to see a lot of boats in the water you get to see all the lights from the city and the buildings there's just so much to love i catch myself a lot of times when i'm on the moto and i'm just driving through the city i can't help but smile because i'm just like wow the city is so so beautiful i also love how the city is set up because it's divided into two parts you have the main city area which feels like an actual city with big buildings and you get like the neighborhoods and everything but then you come to the beach side and it feels like a beach city so Da Nang almost feels like two separate cities I've noticed that there's not a lot of smog and the air seems to be pretty clean and I think Da Nang is a really amazing place to fall in love actually there are just so many spots around the city where you can just go drive just go on the beach and you know people are not gonna be there bothering you Da Nang is also one of the cleanest beaches in Southeast Asia if not the cleanest I think the water is like a perfect temperature any time of day you can walk through it and it feels really good so in general the weather here is pretty hot during the day you're, you're looking at around 28 to 30 degrees celsius my favorite time during the day is around like 4 to 5 p.m though because once the sun sets it's a perfect time to go to the beach but at night especially after it rains it can actually get quite chilly and it's cool being able to wear a jacket because i haven't worn a jacket in thailand or anything because it's been so warm but then when it rains and especially when you're on the moto it gets to a nice chilly temperature so that to me was a very pleasant surprise there are also beautiful temples around the city. What has fascinated me about Vietnam is that there's a strong Chinese influence here. Because the Chinese ruled over Vietnam for like 700 years, they got taken over by the French for a small period of time. So it's just really interesting seeing the mix of these two cultures. If you go to a place like Hoi An, you, you can clearly see the Chinese influence. But if you go to a place like Banna Hills here, it feels like you're in Europe, but you're here in Vietnam. It's a little bit of a trip, actually. The reason why I love Viet food so much is that it reminds me a lot of Chinese food and it's not as intense as Thai food. Thai food is very flavorful but there's a lot of condiments whereas I believe in Vietnamese food it's a lot more relaxed you don't have too many sauces everywhere the flavors aren't intense I can eat for every single day just because it's I wouldn't say plain it's just simple but in a good way. So a lot of Vietnamese food revolves around noodles of all kinds so you can get the vermicelli you can get the pho you can get these thicker rice noodles you can find rice around the city and then bami's and these like steak and eggs with bread. Also what surprised me is how diverse Vietnamese food is. Now I thought it was just going to be pho and like char boiled meat and rice but you have so many different kinds of noodles. You have seafood restaurants all over the city. A lot of restaurants selling snails if you are down to try that. Being Chinese I love how similar it is to my culture. I got some snail over here. Nozomi, would you like to try some? Good? Yeah? Hi right, Rob. Get it. Get it. Are you going to erase it? Is it like eraser? Like rubbery? Oh, okay. Yeah. Vietnam has a huge focus on coffee compared to a lot of different Asian countries, but they also have tea. So you can go to any of these places and they'll all sell coffee, but they'll also sell tea. So what do we got over here, bro? Forgive my bad Vietnamese. This is cafe soa now. So okay. hot coffee with condensed milk. The intensity of both things makes a nice mix. And, that's, and, that's your and then this is just some random Common tea. Yeah, dude, these common teas are so good. Coffee from Panama or the Arabic coffee or like this coffee. It's like hella strong, hella concentrated. The Colombian coffee is more about the flavor, yeah. which is why I actually really enjoyed it. But I'm not a huge fan of like coffee in general because I don't like the way it makes me feel. I'm gonna try it because Vietnam is known for it, so. Very popular. Oh my God. Shit is so bitter, bro. The sweetness is good. The flavor is very good, but because it's so intense, that bitterness is like, it kicks your ass. So the, it's like a chaser. To, yeah, it's to wash it down. Scale of one to 10, what would you give it? Oh, for me, this is like an eight. Like, mm. I, I, I like Vietnamese coffee. So I give this, honestly, it's like a five. Out of all, all the coffee I've tried in the world, the only coffee that I really love is Colombian coffee. It's, that's the gold standard for me. A lot of restaurants sell this like uh, commoner's tea. I'm not entirely sure what it is because it's like green tea, but it kind of tastes like corn or rice and it's delicious. A lot of restaurants just offer it for free. All right, so let's talk about the people. So Viet people are very interesting because I 
think that they are friendly, but they have to know you first. So when I was in Thailand, people would smile at you when you're walking, you know, everybody would bow. And for the most part, maybe it was just Chiang Mai where I was at. I felt that Thai people were very nice and friendly. You're gonna notice that Viet people don't smile at you. They're a little rude to you. But the secret is when you smile to them first, then they'll smile back. And after they see you around for a few times, they'll wave at you, they'll smile at you. It, it gets a lot better. And I had this thought, right? Do Viet people treat me like this because they're rude or because they assume that I'm of a different race like Chinese or Japanese and they assume I'm rude, so they treat me that way. In general, I would say that once you get to know Vietnamese people, they are very warm, very welcoming. Vietnamese people love doing things in groups. They have this very community feel to it. So people are always eating together. Guys are always hanging out with their friends. One of the things I love seeing here is that you'll see two bikes next to each other with two guys on each, and they'll be on the road driving around the same speed, just like kicking it and talking. I do find it very difficult to get into Viet groups though. If you're an outsider and the Vietnamese language is so complicated, I feel like it's very hard to make local friends and it's funny like I'll walk around some restaurants and then you'll see like a group of Vietnamese people with a random white guy and they always look so out of place because you have to understand that here in Vietnam a lot of the college kids can speak a base level of English but it's still not that common I'll be honest and I say this with all due respect Vietnamese is not the most pretty language to listen to it's very it's very nasally and very like Vietnamese women are by far the most beautiful Asian women that I've ever seen. They have like wider faces. That's the only way I can really describe it. And there's a few archetypes of Vietnamese faces that you'll see. They have big lips, they have nice legs, they have curves. When it comes to Asian women, I'm generally used to them being skinny and petite. I'm falling in love every single day because there's beautiful women everywhere, man. It's like I had no idea that Asians were made this way, but I understand why Vietnamese women have the fame for being so beautiful. And I'm gonna be honest, I think Vietnamese women have some of the nicest bodies in the world. If you go to a place like Colombia, you know, they have nice bodies, but there's a lot of surgery in Korea as well. But here you're going to see a lot of natural beauty. Plus, I like that it's a lot more conservative here. Men and women dress very conservatively. You're going to notice a lot of women when they're out and about, you know, it's rare to see them very scantily clad. And a lot of them still wear like traditional dresses, which I find very, very nice. I have heard that Vietnamese women are very strong. There also seems to be a single mother problem here as well. I think in Thailand and Vietnam, there is an issue with that. However, it does not seem as bad as a place like Latin America, Colombia, or like Brazil. So nightlife in Da Nang is good, but not in the way that you would think. There are bars and clubs and stuff, but that doesn't seem to be that popular here. So I wouldn't say Da Nang is a party city, but there's a lot of things to do at night. A lot of restaurants are open until extremely late. So you can be out like on your moto driving at one, two in the morning. The streets are extremely safe. A lot of restaurants that are open till late are open until like 2 a.m. I'm more of a night owl, so I enjoy this lifestyle. I enjoy being able to, you know, grab something to eat at like midnight, one or two in the morning. You'll be surprised how many people you will see out until one or two in the morning. And there's a lot of restaurants on the street serving beer and hot pie and all these stuff. You can go to a pool club and those are open till like three, four in the morning. The computer cafe that I go to is open 24 hours and the malls and a lot of like clothing stores will be open till 10 p.m. So that's very nice. Football is very, very popular here to my surprise. It's common when there's a big uh, football game in like the European league where people will go to bars and they'll be watching the game. And when I'm at the computer cafe, you see a lot of people playing FIFA as well. So it's here here in Da Nang, you're gonna see a lot of Russian people and a lot of Korean people. So thankfully, I have a couple of friends here, but if it weren't for them, I find that it's pretty hard to make friends here unless you're like Russian or Korean or you speak Vietnamese. So one of the best things to do here in Vietnam is shop. I love the clothes here. And it's crazy because you'll see the clothes that they make here, honestly, at big brands like Zara, Pull & Bear, they just stick their logo on top and they charge like 70 euros for it. You can get the same pants, you can get the same shirt for like a fourth of the price. Everything's so cheap here. Okay, so we're walking around one of the main shopping areas here. This is where all the Koreans go to buy and shop for things. You have some more like designer clothes things that not really popular for me, but I think it's very popular for Koreans. And then you have this market, Han Market, where you can go and buy a bunch of like cheap clothes, t-shirts, shorts, Nike shorts, Nike shirts, that kind of thing. I really, really love Vietnamese style. It's like a clean cut look. If you go to a place like Thailand, people wear a lot of loose clothing, shorts, you know, it's like almost like beach wear. But in here in Vietnam, they're a lot more conservative. Everything's very well fitted. 
And you're gonna notice a lot of like, for example, tailors here are very, very popular in Vietnam. You know, I love the idea of getting a tailored suit and one day I'm definitely gonna get one. I just have no use for it right now at that point in my life. But it's just one of those things like as a man, you always dream about getting a tailored suit and Vietnam is the best place to do it. One of my favorite stores is called the G-Men. I love how clothes in Asia fit because I find that when I go to the US, clothes are like, they may fit me like the chest and everything, but because the people are so tall, they always like fit me very long. Here in Asia, the people are shorter. The difference between like a medium and a large is actually not that big. I just love how well the clothes fit here and I love the quality of the clothes. The men dress really, really nicely here. Their hair is undefeated. Their hair is super, super nice. I wanted to show you guys, so I got these pants these are some of my favorite pants ever. They look like dress pants and they fit super well, but they're like super stretchy and you can even play football in these pants. And these pants cost like $13. So if you're coming to Vietnam, definitely have some room in your luggage to do some shopping. There are also a lot of mosquitoes here. So I would keep that in mind, especially after it rains. So I would recommend wearing pants or always having mosquito spray on you. I was very surprised by the infrastructure here in Da Nang, especially on the beach side. The roads are very well maintained. A lot of roundabouts here in Vietnam. During rush hour on the city side, they can get pretty hectic with the amount of motos on the street. That only really happens around like 4 to 6 p.m. at night. The street lights and how traffic works takes a little bit to get used to because there's timers and they're all different. But once you get used to how the system here works, I actually find it very, very good. So like a lot of countries, you're gonna find that there are places here which are really organized and beautifully well-maintained, but then they'll ne be next to neighborhoods where it's there's a lot of trash everywhere and the roads aren't super well-kept. But do be aware, you're gonna see people skipping traffic lights, you're gonna see people driving on the wrong side of the road, it can get a little intense at times. So cost of living, Da Nang is extremely cheap because it's one of the smaller cities. Rent here is gonna be cheaper, especially for being a beach city. For what you're getting with the price, I think it's such a great deal. In my opinion, that's one of the best parts of Da Nang. So after my time in Colombia, I think my standards for cleanliness have gone down. For street food, a lot of foreigners, when they see that for the first time, they're gonna get like, oh my God, this is so dirty, and trash everywhere. But after a while, you just kind of get used to it. Vietnam is well known for their rats. Where I'm living right now, my apartment is very clean. It's very organized. I guess in my opinion, that's all that really matters. It's kind of part of the experience. A lot of these restaurants, when you see them here, you know that they're the best restaurants because you know there's only Viet people eating there. But if you were to see something like this in the US, you, you would think that this place is kind of like a shithole. Once you kind of get over being in a country like this, like the street food, in my opinion, I recommend the street food because those are always the best and they're extremely cheap. The bathrooms look like they can be on the set of a Saw movie. And and you're gonna see that everywhere in Vietnam, but it's just one of those things that you just kind of get used to. So when it comes to safety, I think that Da Nang is a very safe city. You know, I, I never really feel a threat of being robbed or anything. I have heard some stories of foreigners being approached on the beach by Vietnamese people who end up stealing their stuff, but the threat for armed robbery and violent crime is very, very low. And you can see this because you'll find women walking around alone at night, one, two, three in the morning all the time. All right, so on a scale of one to 10, I would give Da Nang a 9.5. It is on my Mount Rushmore of cities. I love this place so, so much. This is my number one beach city that I've ever been to in my life. Better than Bali, the Philippines, better than anywhere in Colombia. I love the city with all of my heart and I cannot wait to come back in the future. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.